Hi everyone, today I'm going to be creating two fall looks from ColourPop's Lil Ray of Sunshine palette. This actually came out in the summer, I believe. But sunflowers, for some reason, remind me of fall. I actually have some sunflowers in my fall decor, so... I think this palette is perfect for fall, so I've created two looks for you, and we'll also show you swatches. If you're new here, this is my channel, Lipstick Amor, and my name is Jyoti. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's get started with the first look. We're going to start out with the shade called Blissed Out and just apply it on the brow bone and then go in with the shade into the crease. Now we're going to take the shade Chillin' and apply it on the lid. Next shade, Sun Giant, and just apply it on the outer corner of the eye. I'm just going to take a smaller brush to create a little bit more definition. Now taking a flat brush, applying it on the lower lash line. Using the same crease shade, going to apply it into the inner corner and bring it a little bit more into the lash line. Now just blend it all in with a clean blending brush. Apply Tarte's Tartiest liner into the waterline with a Stellar Lash Mascara by BH Cosmetics. This gives you long lashes. And here is one eye complete. And here you have two eyes complete. Applying some Deuce Free Matic Blush in the shade Daydream. Now applying the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pop and Corks. cleaning up my brows a little bit and this look is complete. I do really love how this look came out. It has a bit of a smoky eye effect. Now let's get on to look number two. This was the shade Happy Place in the brow bone. Now we're gonna take Limon Cello into the crease. Now taking this bright yellow colored is called Sunnies. Applying this shade in the outer corners of the eyelid, it's called Vibe. Taking this shade Happy Place and applying it into the inner part of the eye. Following it up with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. It's in the shade Sunny Veil. Cover Girl Clump Crusher Mascara. And then finish it up with that bright yellow into the inner corner. Here is one eye done, and now we have two eyes done. This look is very simple. It's just a little bit of different shades of yellow or mustard. Nothing too dramatic. Switching over to Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And using their blush Coco Felicita as a bronzer because it's a little too dark for me. This is Belle and Argent's Lip Gloss in the shade Foxy. I do really like this palette for the fall. It has some really interesting, beautiful fall shades, but some of the shades definitely do not show up on my skin color. But overall, I am enjoying this palette for the fall. I hope you liked these two looks from the Lil Ray of Sunshine palette by ColourPop. There's definitely not a whole lot of range of looks that you can create with this palette. It is a little bit limited, but um, in case you already have this palette, here are some two looks that you could create from it. The shadows are a little bit powdery, but when I apply them on my eyes, I did not experience any fallout. So you can just pick them up, tap your brush a little bit if you need to, and then apply them and it should be fine. 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two fall looks from this palette. And uh, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and leave me some comments. Would you go for a palette that has limited variety of looks that you can create but has some interesting shades in it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.